Hey guys, welcome to Quinnia's Budget Crafts. I needed a rock pile for Hero Kids right here, so I figured I'd show you guys how I make them. Just take some aquarium gravel, put it in a little disposable cup, add some paint, and mix it up. Did a few different paints here. I've got pavement in one, I've got pewter in another one. I added some water to those, just to help it mix better. Dump your rocks in and mix it up. I did actually add too much water to these, so if you do use water, go kind of easy on it. And if you want some rubble piles instead of just plain rocks, you're going to need something that looks like bricks. So just cut out several strips from some dollar store foam. Then line your strips up and kind of cut them with your X-Acto knife. They really don't need to be perfect, and if they rip, that's fine too. And we'll throw those in a cup with some Peter Gray too. So the ones that have water on them will still show some of the brown through the paint. So I did another cup of the pewter and the pavement with just paint, no water. And then some with the granite gray for the really bright rocks. To help these dry faster, you can spread them out on some wax paper or parchment paper and put a little mini fan on them. So patience is a virtue here, and I don't have any. If you can, go ahead and let these dry out to the point that they're basically dry, but maybe not quite. That way, when you mix them together, the colors will transfer between the rocks, but not completely glom into a new color. Just go ahead and mix up all three colors with your bricks, and do another cup with just rocks. So I'm going to glue these together with the Turbo Tacky Glue, because it really does dry faster. Just squirt some in there and mix it up. The rocks shown on the module here look like they're about four inches wide, and you can see the grid on the mat through the paper, so I'll try to get something close to that. It doesn't need to be exact. And a couple more piles just because I have tons of extra. Now if you want actual nice neat walls with you know a flat surface on them, you can get some of these Lego wannabe things from the dollar store and build yourself some forms. Somehow this tacky glue doesn't actually stick to it. You can do them however many pips wide you want. I've got three, two, and one just to see how they come out. I decided that the three wide wasn't tall enough, so I went ahead and stacked it an extra Lego tall. And I didn't think the single wide would actually be strong enough to stay together. It didn't. It fell apart. But it's worth a try. So once this is all dried up, this is what you've got. Just collect up all those broken bits and pieces that didn't work out or that fell off the original form or whatever and throw them back in your cup of rocks. You can just glue them into a new one. Pop all your Legos off your uh, rock wall there. And compare it to a mini to show you how tall they are. A single Lego, plus the really thin ones, is about knee to waist high on a mini, counting the base. And the one that's two Legos high, plus the little piece, is about shoulder height. Just make them whatever height you need for whatever counts as cover in your games. So you don't need to base these if you don't want to, they look just fine on their own. But they're also kind of boring on their own, so we'll add some stuff to it. For the rubble pile, since it's rubble, I figured it would have some dirt and stuff on it too. So I just put some 50-50 Mod Podge and water on there. And then sprinkled some of this play sand on. You can get a giant bag, it's like 50 pounds of play sand from Home Depot for about $3. For the larger wall, I thought some moss might look good. Instead of the scrubby pad flock, I bought some of this 2-in-1 medium green from Luke over at Luke's APS. This stuff is great. So using the Turbo Tacky Glue, just put down lines of glue wherever you think the moss might be. Any low spots along the bottom, that kind of thing. Then use a brush to spread it out a little bit. And then put your flock on. Shake off the excess. Dump that back in the bag. And to make all of it stick really well, take it outside and give it a light coat of the matte clear spray stuff. So maybe you don't have flock or just don't want to use it. Or, you know, want a different look. You can use this Spanish moss from the dollar store. Basically the same idea, just put the glue on wherever you think any kind of dead vines might be. That's sort of what it looks like to me. Stick them down. You can use that same brush with the glue on it to mash it into the glue and put a little bit extra on top just to make sure they stay. Then take some scissors and trim off any excess. And if you want to make that look a little bit better and you do have some kind of flocking, take some of your 50-50 Mod Podge and just sort of touch the vines a little bit. You're not trying to get it everywhere. Just get some on the brush and then touch the vine and let it run down the length of the vine on its own. And put your flocking on there, shake off the excess, and you get something that looks like um, ivy vines or half-dead vines. 
Well, there you go, guys. There's some rubble and rock piles and rock walls. These things are literally just a pile of rocks, so you can do them in any sort of shape, color, configuration that you like. These are just a couple examples. And like I said, if you're more patient than I am and let the paint dry more, you won't get such a glommy mess color. Well, that's going to do it for this one, so thanks for watching, everybody, and like, share, and all that good stuff, and I'll catch you on the next one.